Hey boat lovers, we're working on a 2005 52 foot ocean. This boat is equipped with a Glenn Denning antiquated mechanical control system right now. But what we're gonna end up be doing, what we're, uh, I swear. This hey is, boat swear. lovers, no. we're working on a 2005 52 foot ocean here. We're updating the old MBS control system, which is a mechanical throttle, mechanical shift, mechanical control. This boat is does not have a backup control system on this boat. But what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna update this boat to a hybrid system, which has not been seen on our on our channel yet. So this boat is gonna be equipped with electric throttle, electric shift, mechanical troll, with a electric backup. Uh hey guys, so I wanna, before the video starts, I wanna thank you guys for your support and helping us reach our goal. But also, I want you to, to, what are you doing? I want, <laughs> I would like feedback from you guys. How can we improve the videos? Just let us know in the comments. Your input is very important. Important. All right, so yesterday in Miami, there was a big thunderstorm and it snapped a huge branch in front of our house. Absolutely insane. So it, we're temporarily delayed and we got my baby over there. It's gonna get us out of there. So this ocean has two stations. The one upstairs that my dad is gonna be dealing with, which has two side mount control heads. And then it has this, and then it has this beautiful cockpit station so that they could operate the vessel when they're fishing. Yeah. So I have to remove this one as well. So I'm in charge of everything down here. Oh, well, he's in charge of everything up there. Okay, so my dictator of a boss, AKA my dad, has commanded that I remove all the actuators the old actuators, the 20 year old ones that we have right here. This is a troll. And these are the two actuators that we have to remove. And this is the processor. Those are huge engines. They're Detroit diesel engines, which are pretty insane. Yeah, your job got pretty easy today. So um, you don't have to worry about your big broad shoulders. You're actually right on top of it. So you should be able to get this thing done very easy without complaining for the static noise you know it's an engine room but yeah it's just, it's just gonna be there the entire time that we're working in here so I'm gonna start off by removing the processor getting those cables disconnected and then move on to the actuators all right guys so on the starboard side what was once a processor and an actuator are now gone and it had a, a harness that came down all the way connecting to the throttle communication harness down here which connects to the ERAM over here. So we're gonna keep this here because we're gonna need it for the new actuator. And new actuator for the new processor. For the new processor. So we're gonna make a harness, a throttle harness, that gets connected to that joist connector and it's gonna go connected to our processor for our throttle output. Uh, all right, so on the port side, I was able to get the troll and the regular actuator out. Uh, I had to cut all these tie wraps off, so now I'm gonna go around and just clean it up until we install the new ones. Just put regular tie wraps all around and make sure that this is like nice and tidied up because right now there's all these wires that just fell down. So. Now, as we said, we went from mechanical shift to electric shift and everybody's going to ask, how did we do that? Well, this particular boat has twin disc on this boat and it has its forward and reverse shifting solenoids here, but also it has its mechanical. This is how it used to run without utilizing these. But in order to get to electronic shift, you push the pin in and you turn. Now you lock it into a clockwise position. Now it tells the system that you're only gonna operate from this two solenoids. And that goes with the same on this one here. So we're gonna make sure that these arms are locked so that nobody could bypass this. And the system will shift from here and it will get its throttle position from here 
So this is how we're able to do electric throttle, electric shift, and mechanical control. All right. What we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna be removing these side mount control handles like you normally see us do. This touch pad is gonna be updated. The thing with this particular boat, it's all electronic. There is no mechanical backup. So the control heads are gonna look a little bit different compared to what you have normally seen on this particular boat. But this boat is not equipped with backup, but we're gonna give him a electric backup. Some of you might know how hard it is to pull these handles off along with the spline. 20 years will really make this thing hard to pull off, but we were able to succeed in pulling these things off without taking a uh, persuader to it. You could actually see how bad this was, but we were able to pull things off pretty easy on this one here and on this one here. And we got our splines out and our handles out. All right, I'm halfway inside this hole. As everybody know that I could get into very tight places and uh, I amaze um, myself sometimes. But this is the non-mechanical backup control heads. These are the old MBS side mount heads. As you know, they look something similar to the top portion of the electrical, half of it, but these do not have the mechanical function on the bottom. So we have the port side and then we have the starboard side. So they're a little bit buried inside there, but we're gonna get that out and we're gonna be taking out our side mount touch pad. All right, here's a comparison of what is new and what is old. That is our old control system there, which is our two side mounts, our touch pad, and our station processor. This is our touch pad, station processor, and our two side mounts. So now this is in combined with those two. So you can see there's a substantial size difference on the touch pad, but also a size difference which is more easy to handle with these two now. These are half of the size compared to what was in. We're gonna be installing these now in place of those. All right, I made two of these brackets. Uh, these brackets normally come straight, but I, what I ended up doing on this particular application, I bend it in a 90 degree or a little bit more than a 90 degree in order for us to bolt this to a secure location and then this portion gets mounted to the control head. This is the actual brace that holds the control head in place so that when you're moving the handles forward, neutral and reverse, the handle, the whole mechanism is not moving. I'll show you how it looks like when it's installed. All right, so now I can explain how these arms that I showed you earlier, how they work. So, it has two points of contact to secure it. This bottom portion here helps alleviate the bend or the flex. So now this thing will not move up or down on both sides. Now we could put our handles in. There's no actual stress on these particular handles because there's no mechanical backups on this. So this is all fly by wire and it does have its backup. So this is gonna be a nice cool little hybrid feature on this boat. Okay, so now that we know that we have our side mount control heads, both sides secured from pivoting, now we need to prevent them from going in and out. And you could see that they go in and out, but what stops that is the spline shaft. So we're gonna apply TEP gel, which you've seen in our past. We're gonna apply it around the, the shaft portion and the spline along with the keyway. And once we tighten this down, it prevents the shaft from going in. So now it will have a positive movement going forward and reverse without a side to side. All right, guys, both handles are installed. All right, port and starboard side. And these are the handles with electronic throttle, electronic shift, electronic backup. Okay, so this does not have the mechanical backups on there, the linkages or any of that stuff. This is all fly-by-wire, and it's a beautiful system to work with. All right, guys, we have two throttles 
for our Detroit throttle signals. Okay, and we have our two shift. Okay, so one is longer, one is shorter because it all depends on where the processor is mounted. So the processor is closer to the engine on the starboard side than it is on the port side. So we use longer and shorter cables. All right, there's been rain all day today, which Miami really did need. And in that process, we were pulling these cables that are going straight to the actuators and the processors all the way from the main helm up there. And you can see my soaked dad. Yeah, look at him, he's soaked. Uh, so as you can see, he's playing with the cables that we just finished pulling. And those are gonna go straight into there where the main helm is and everything's gonna be connected soon. Okay, so now that this helm is actually completed and all the wires are connected, we have our touch pad, our side mounts connected and also look at this. We have our new system going here with our laser engraving. And look what it says. A nice finishing touch for a customer. We're leaving this on here because everybody loves to peel their stickers off. So we're gonna end up cleaning this thing up and turning on the system shortly. All right, so this is the finished product. As you can see, all the wiring is nice and neat. Follows through all the way to the other side where the troll actuator is. All right, my dad is all sweaty. So we're gonna test the system to see if we could go on a C trial. Let's see if it turns on. Awesome. So now we're gonna power up, start the engines, and see if it actually goes into gear. And then after that, we're gonna test it out on a sea trial, like a little cruise around Fort Lauderdale. All right, that's a good time. The way that I have said it before, I'm trying to explain it. This is a hybrid system. The reason why it's called a hybrid system is because there's still a mechanical function that is in this particular system, but that only operates the troll. The troll function is continuously used by mechanical cables still because we don't have the electric function for it. But we were able to change the system so that it could shift electric and throttle electric. So right now the system is like a normal system that you would see. There is no mechanical backup cables inside this control head at all. It's all fly-by-wire. But there's a redundant control head on these two pods that turns it into a mechanical, that turns it into an electric backup. By us enabling the electric backup, the light turns on, this display goes dead, but we're still have function out of this boat. The only location that this is operable at is at the backup head station and we normally put that at the main helm station.
All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Yeah, look at it's my a, shirt. My shirt is. Yeah, it's a hot. Well, it's a hot day. No, it's hot. Been a hot. Yeah. It's gonna be a hot summer. It was a light gray. Now it is a dark gray. So uh, it's uh, it's wet. I can't, I can't even touch it. Yeah, it's disgusting. No, you're disgusting. Okay. But guys, thank you for all the subscribers, and we appreciate everything. We need all your feedback. If you like things, just mention it on the comments, please. Awesome. And the winners of the contest, because we reached 155 subscribers. No, we reached 153 subscribers. We're at 155 as of this moment. Oh, wow. So okay. as of this moment, we're at 155. So that means two people get free shirts. Yes. Guys, follow us, like, and subscribe. Uh, 